Hi, what's up everybody? Um, so today I decided I'm going to do a massive Lush haul. I recently went into my local Lush store, which is in Grafton Street, um, and I just went a little bit mad. Lush is probably one of my favorite brands of all time. I'm obsessed with their stuff. I just love everything they stand for. All of their stuff is 100% cruelty free. It's actually something they're really passionate about, and it's all ethically bought and it's just such an amazing company it's such an amazing brand and i support it 100 percent everything i think i think in this video is all vegan i am only still learning i have only been a vegan for about three months so please don't abuse me if i accidentally bought something that isn't vegan but yeah okay wrapped over intro over let's just get right into the video okay so this is razzle dazzle this is a bath oil um <laughs> I would not recommend putting this anywhere near a radiator, which is exactly where I've left this big bag of stuff because it's all melted through the bag. Oh, this one is delish. Oh, so nice. This one has organic shea butter and fair trade cocoa butter inside, which is just amazing because then it's actually going to do something for your skin. It's not just going to turn your bath like a lovely colour or you know, like what the bath bombs tend to do. This is actually going to moisturize your skin and hydrate your skin and you're gonna feel so silken coming out of the bath. This is literally melting in my hands, so I'm gonna put this one down. But well, yeah, you get the gist. Just really cute. It's only a little small thing, so. I kind of picked this up last minute with another bath melt I got, just because this was really cheap. Um, I think it was like three euros. I'm really, really glad I did. Loads of glitter on it, as you can see, which is my fave. I love glitter. I love glitter and like bath and lush stuff. It's like my favorite. That and popping candy, oh my God. My weakness. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down. This is literally melting in my hands. Oh, this is the bath oil. This is probably good that I'm showing you this after as well. This is about three euro as well. And this one is called Floating Island. Um. It's really cute. It looks like white chocolate and it smells like white chocolate, which is the main appeal. It really does. It smells like um, Milky Way buttons. You know, the little buttons you used to get as a kid with the little milk, mil is it Milky Way or Milky Bar? But really, really smells like white chocolate. It's so nice. And then this little thing on top is called sandalwood, I think. The ingredients say sandalwood, and I'm just assuming this is sandalwood because it's a little piece of wood on top. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a bath melt before. This is another one I literally threw in my basket last minute. It literally smells like white chocolate. Oh my God, I wonder if the white chocolate in I'm gonna check. No, just shea butter, cocoa butter, almond oil, and coconut oil. So again, really, really moisturizing ingredients. I say this is gonna make me feel amazing. Also has lemon and vanilla in it though. So I'm wondering, is that the smell that I'm getting? It must be. But it really, really smells like chocolate. It kind of looks like a chocolate as well. It looks like um, them fancy chocolates that your nanny gets at Christmas. I will probably, however, pair this one and pair the bath oil probably with a bubble bar or a bath bomb just because just don't know if this is going to be enough for me <laughs> i like to have like a big bath cocktail type thing so i don't know if this is going to do it for me but i will probably add this in with a bubble bar and i'm really excited to use this one as well okay this is the one i'm most excited about oh it's golden egg guys how amazing is this it's literally a ball of glitter. I feel like a lot of the glitter has fallen off as well since I've gotten it, so it was even more glittery. It's so cute. This was, I'm almost 100% sure this is part of the Easter range that came out um, last month. But they're obviously still selling it because it's still popular and it's still in demand, so a lot of people must be buying this one. Oh my god, the glitter is everywhere. A lot of people I do know do not like really, really glittery products because it tends to get stuck at the bottom of their bath and they have to clean it and, you know, bath time is supposed to be relaxing time. You're not supposed to be like in your bath with a sponge cleaning out glitter out your drain. But I don't mind it. I kind of love it. And the fact that it's made it with some really, really good ingredients. Vanilla, coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, that kind of thing. So it's really going to be beneficial for your skin. 
It also has a very like caramelly, I want to say, smell. It's not listed in the ingredients, so I'm not sure where I'm getting the smell from. But nonetheless, I'm not complaining. It's amazing. Like, look at that. Gorgeous. This is the aftermath of Golden Egg. You could probably use this as a really sick highlighter. <laughs> a really sick like pigment or eyeshadow, I swear. That's a really nice gold. You got it. You got it. Oh, I'm sure I have some in my eye. It's gone everywhere. Next up we have, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Look how cute is this? How cute! It's a little flamingo. It's called Pink Flamingo. And, oh my god. I did pick it up because it did remind me of, um, Music to Watch Boys 2 by Lana Del Rey. The first line in the song is Pink Flamingos. Always fascinated me and I was like, yes, Lana, yes. And then I smelled it and it was sold. <sighs> so good. And I'm really, really excited about this one because correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong here. But has Lush ever done a year round bath bomb or bubble bar on a stick? because I'm not too sure. I know I got the, um, was it the magic wand and the magic of Christmas wand at Christmas time. One of them was pink and then one of them was orange and had, was on a little cinnamon stick with a little bell. Um, and I loved those because they're reusable and you could just swirl them around in your bath. And I loved that. And I haven't seen any bubble bars or anything like that on a stick since or before that but I could be wrong so I was really excited when I seen this one on the stick it's so cute this one has ylang ylang in it and ylang ylang actually is supposed to relieve anxiety and stress so I feel like this would be a really nice one to have like just before bedtime just to help you sleep and just to unwind and relax yeah I really really like this one so the next thing I got is I keep getting the name wrong for this one. It's called Tisty Totsy, but I'm calling it Titsy Topsy. Tits, titsy Topsy, Titsy Topsy. Can you imagine? So this is, I'm just gonna call it Titsy Topsy. This one is really cute. Look how cute that is. See, I'm not too sure about this one because it doesn't really seem to be a bath one that's going to do much for you. It has a kind of, it's really, really clean smell of it. If you've ever tried the clean cotton Yankee candle, that's what it kind of reminds me of, which is my favorite Yankee candle. So don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about that. But it's not, this is not gonna turn your bath in a, a, a really nice color. It's probably not gonna do too much for your skin. But I think it was the roses that really attracted me to this one. But then I didn't, I didn't take into consideration the fact that there's like one, two, three, four, five rose buds in it. Probably won't even see them in my bath because I don't have a big, huge tub, so they'll probably just go missing. Or they're probably gonna get caught in my drain. So I'm not too sure about this one, but I do really, really like the smell. But again, I would probably pair this with something else because I don't think this is gonna be enough. Okay, next up is the Charity Pot. Okay, I am obsessed with the Charity Pot. I get this probably every single time I go to Lush, which is quite often. And even if I have a full one at home, I do always pick one up just because it's for such an amazing, amazing cause. Basically, Lush supports a really large number of charities, kind of smaller charities that you wouldn't necessarily know or be aware of that they sell these charity pots. And each charity pot has a different charity on them. This one has Seal Rescue Ireland which rescues, rehabilitates and releases distressed seals. So this one's really cute and it has a little baby seal on the front. So this is one I picked up and each charity pot has a picture and a little bit about one of the charities that Lush supports. Like all the earnings from the charity pots that they sold and then they divide it up evenly amongst the different charities and see I did ask about that because I felt guilty you almost feel guilty like you're picking a charity each time so I asked you know what way is this done if no 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 it all gets divided evenly which is amazing and all you have to do is go on the Lush website 
and it lists all the different charities that they support and it's such a broad range of charities it's not all the same thing whether your passion is animal welfare human rights or environmental sustainability and environmental care whatever the case may be there's probably going to be a charity that Lush is supporting in aid of what you're passionate about you know what I mean it has a very buttery kind of vanilla -y. I use it as a hand lotion I just throw it in my handbag and just carry it with me and just top up every now next up is the green bubbleroon this one's actually for Evan because boys can like Lush too, okay? There's going to be no gender roles or gender stereotypes on this channel. This is for my boyfriend and we have no shame. He has no shame about loving Lush. Obsessed. Kind of meadowy kind of smell. It almost smells like grass. I know that's not a great description of it, but it does kind of smell like grass or trees or kind of like fresh, fresh air, like walking through a forest. That is what this reminds me of. This one also has lime in it you can kind of get that limey kind of smell so it's a very refreshing kind of smell with the fresh kind of plants and nature and then the, like burst of lime so um it's probably his favorite smell and it's his favorite color so i picked this one up for him yeah i don't have too much to say about this one because it's not mine but i mean you know you're not gonna get a bad lush product really are you at the end of the day Next up we have a face mask and this I'm sure is one of the new face masks and it's called Cup O Coffee and that's what it looks like inside. Honestly just smells like Starbucks, I swear to god it's amazing. This is what I went into Lush to get, I wasn't planning to get this like colossal amount of products, I actually went in to get a new face mask because I've been using the mask of Magnamity, Magnamity, the really green minty one, I've been using that one for a while and I love that one, don't get me wrong but I did want to try something new and the guy in the store recommended this one and it's supposed to really exfoliate your skin, really get rid of any redness and really wake your skin up. He said that this would be a good one to use in the morning because a cup of coffee, right? But I don't see myself using this in the morning, putting it on before work. I just don't see that happening. But if that's what you were into, I think this would be a really, really good product for in the morning time. I did try this one out on my hand. Oh, I did try this one out on my hand. Um, but it, it is it does come quite thick so what I did is I added a little bit of water I think that's nice rather than just putting on a dry face maybe wet your face and then just kind of dab it with a towel and then rub the mask into it I think that could be really really helpful because I think by itself it's far too thick and you might run the risk of using way too much product more than you even need and just wasting it completely so I would recommend adding just a tiny tiny bit of water to this one this one also has agave syrup in it which is a vegan alternative to honey which is amazing because there's no need for them to be using honey I, I think Lush if they really wanted to they could become 100% vegan and I think they're completely going in that direction because they are trying to use alternatives now and you cannot tell the difference between agave syrup and honey you just can't you can also use this one on your body if you like I think all the face masks you can use on your body but I only got a small little tube so I don't think that I'm going to be you know spreading it all over my body because it's just gonna waste the product I will probably stick to just using this one on my face but if you wanted you could put it all over your body and I say it would smell amazing afterwards oh, I'm so so excited to use this one I, I will probably post a picture of me on Instagram tonight using this product um, because I just can't wait any longer I'm so excited with this one it's like Christmas so the next thing that I got was this Ultra Balm this basically was completely sold to me by the girl in the shop. I had no intention of buying this product. I had no idea what this product even was, had never heard of it, nothing. But she was really pushing this one on me and fair play for she sold it to me in the end, I ended up buying it. What it is is an all purpose balm, so you can use it on pretty much anything. She was listing out, it can do this, it can do this, it can do this, it can do this. So I was like, right, okay, I obviously need this one. Okay, so I think I have one thing left, two things left. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is this. It's called The Governor and it is a deodorant. But yeah, this one I've actually had before and it lasted a really, really long time. Since going vegan, 
I've been really trying to swap over all aspects of my beauty and skincare and everything. I'm not quite there yet. I'm still kind of 90% with deodorant. First of all, I was sick of using aerosols because I know how terrible they are for the environment. And second of all, um, you know, deodorant isn't too expensive. So I didn't mind just giving my mom my deodorant to finish and use and whatever. And then picking up this. And it is kind of intimidating at first glance. You think, how is your deodorant, you know, I'm gonna come out with this, but it comes out like a powder. And what you do is you just pat it onto t on your two hands, and then you just pat, 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 pat. This one doesn't smell the nicest, but that's only because you can get ones that smell really, really nice, but they're more for the scent. This one is more to combat, you know, sweat and body odor and all the yucky stuff that you don't want. Um, so this one actually really works. It's really gonna protect you. I can really trust it. Just throwing it on in the morning and not having to worry about it. I would really recommend this one actually. And I think if you're like me and you're trying to switch over to cruelty-free living or a vegan lifestyle or anything like that, um, and you're looking for different beauty products, I would definitely say get your deodorant and lush because not only are you gonna get cruelty-free and vegan products, but it's, they're, none of them come in aerosol form. It all comes in either a powder or in a bar. So if you'd prefer, they come in little bars that you literally just rub onto your skin and that's it. And then the last thing. Guys. But this one I'm so excited about. I actually saved the best for last. This one is intergalactic and it is a bath bomb. Do I have blue on my face? This one when I went into the shop the girl was actually demoing and from the second I saw it, it was love at first sight, I was like yes, it is so pretty, oh my days. It's kind of like, it has a top layer of foam, okay, and on the top layer it's just a complete galaxy, it's just blue, pink, purple and a whole lot of glitter and it just looks like little twinkling little stars and then underneath the foamy layer you put your hand in and it's just like amazing aquamarine mermaid water and oh it just looks incredible and i just wanted to dive in this one has a very minty smell off it too very pepperminty very refreshing it's a very refreshing a very refreshing <laughs> i cannot speak i'm kind of raging now that i've run out of the mask of magnum minty because i can just imagine throwing this in the bath feeling the peppermint on my skin, the peppermint on my face. I'm not sure if it's necessarily new, but I've never seen it before. And I think it's because it doesn't look, it doesn't, it doesn't look like now what it looks like when it's in water. Like you wouldn't expect it to be that magical. Okay, well there you have it. That is everything I bought. And guys, I hope you like this video. Um, it is of course my very first YouTube video. Bit intimidating. Um, so if you did like it, I really would appreciate it if you'd leave me a little thumbs up down below and maybe a cheeky subscribe, that would just mean the absolute world to me. And let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of this stuff, if it's any good. But I'd love you to tell me what your favourite Lush products are because as you can tell, I'm a bit obsessed and I love trying out all new different products and different bath bombs and all the different stuff. We'll probably be reviewing most of the products over the next week or so on my Instagram so I'll leave that link below. Feel free to follow me if you'd like and yeah until next time guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again. Bye!